Hey guys, Coach Rob here. I wanted to illustrate for you what we call our pike position. Uh, this is going to be working your uh, lower back, it's going to work your rectus abdominis and your external obliques, all of which make up your uh, part of your core muscle group. The one thing that I want you to understand here is if you don't pay close attention to your form, you could really run the risk of hurting your lower back. So uh, please really pay close attention to that just so that way you can get the strength out of the exercise and reduce your risk of injury. All right. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to start yourself in a uh, 90 degree on your elbows, okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to try to keep your, your ankles at a 90 degree. I know it sounds silly, but some people push away from themselves. What I want you to do is 90 degrees. You're going to take your belly button and you're going to pierce your spine to create a nice flat back. You shouldn't have your, your tail end way up high and your lower back shouldn't be dropping either, okay? What you were looking for is just a nice straight plank position. If you're in the right position, your, your belly will start to shake and you'll feel it pretty quickly. All right? Just so you can see it from the side, the most important part is making sure that the lower back doesn't drop. This is not good. All right? I'm taking my belly button, I'm piercing it through my spine to create a nice flat back. If you start to think the exercise is too easy, simply tuck and pierce your belly button into your spine even deeper and try to hold that, okay? If you start to fatigue and it starts to drop, you're going to get to a point where an attempt to get stronger, you're only going to re increase your risk of injury. So strive for the amount of time that's indicated on your workout spreadsheet and once you get to that point, make sure that you stop the exercise by bringing your knees up underneath you, okay? And what I mean by that is when, when you're done with the exercise and you're here and you've gone your duration of time, simply step up underneath you. I know it sounds silly, but some people try to push up the other way and what you do is you create a, a, a real sharp bend in your lower back and again, you're gonna increase your risk of injury. So if you have any questions about that or any of our abdominal workouts, please email me. My email address is Rob R O B B the number three at earthlink.net, and thanks for watching the video.